Hi Will, it's Gwendolyn here. I hope you had a really good weekend. Really great to see your first set of essays. Um, let's go ahead and get started with those. Let's start here with your task two on doing an enjoyable activity. Uh, Will, I thought you did a good job here of answering the task response. You've looked both sides of the question and um, you've given some good ideas and good examples to back up those ideas, which was great. That you used a good range of vocabulary throughout, throughout and a very um, clear and coherent essay. The thing that I want to work on though with this essay, Will, is um, trying to be a little more concise. So you've written 307 words, which is a little over sort of the maximum that we would suggest. I think the maximum we would suggest is 275 words. The problem with writing too much in this essay is that usually the examiners will stop reading at about 275 words. And if they haven't um, been able to um, measure your task response and um, the other marking criteria elements within that time, you could be deducted some points. So I think it's really important to try to get um, your word count down. And also, you know, when your writing is a little more concise, it is, uh, helps with your coherence and cohesion. So that's something I want to work on. Um, so yeah, I think from my perspective, just a little, little too wordy, too verbose, um, but that's something I struggle with all the time. So um, <clears throat> let's see where we can cut out some of the language. One of the biggest discussions in our daily life is related to the advantages and disadvantages of reading in comparison to other funniest activities. So here, funniest. Funniest, funny, funny is a word that only refers to um, something that makes you laugh. Um, what I think you meant to be here is fun. These are things that, uh, doing things that are enjoyable. Slightly different, I teach uh, Korean students all the time and they always use funny and fun interchangeably and uh, you can't do that. So here what you should say is in comparison to other fun activities, okay? Also watch out for where you use sort of phrases in our daily life um, that you kind of put into, this one's a prepositional phrase, where you put into your sentences. They add detail and context but they also make your sentences a little more wordy. Here I don't think we need it could just say one of the biggest discussions today is related to the advantages and so we sort of save three words there. Well I can understand that some people argue reading is better than other types of exercises. I would say that there are many other alternatives to develop imagination and personal skills. Let's look at this sentence and see if we can reduce that down. Maybe here I could you could reduce some of the language here and say Whilst, W-H-I-L-S-T, whilst some people argue that reading is better than other types of exercises, comma, I believe that there are um, many other alternatives. You can just take out many here. You can say that there are other alternatives to develop imagination and personal skills. This essay will consider this topic using examples such as playing on game consoles, and practicing some sports to demonstrate points and support arguments. Good, Will, you've got the structure down of the introduction perfectly, just trying to reduce some of your word count a little bit there. On the one hand, good, good transitional phrase. Playing on consoles helps enormously develop skills, uh, develop active skills, memory, and spatial awareness, while ch children laugh and spend time together with their friends. So this is a part of the phrasing that we could take out. Um, it's not necessarily important for the task response. Um, it can make the, uh, your introduction a little more concise and a little more direct to the point. So on the one hand, playing on consoles helps enormously to develop active skills, memory, and spatial awareness. Full stop. This is obviously an achievement because rarely other activities, including reading, would provide excitement and stimulate our brain simultaneously. Let's look at this sentence. Just a few changes here. 
So this is obviously an achievement because rarely do other activities, including reading, and don't need the word would here, do other activities provide excitement and stimulate our uh, brain simultaneously. Some recent studies conducted by Oxford University show that those British children whose routine involves playing online through Xbox or PlayStation have a better performance in terms of differentiating spaces and reacting to changes. Good, great uh, example there, Will. Therefore, there are more chances of developing some abilities through these games compared to what can be obtained from reading. Good, great to have that summarizing sentence there. Good, good um, paragraph and um, good idea, good example. On the other hand, good, good transitional phrase there. Um, I don't need to put this phrase in, and I also argue we take that out. It keeps the same sentiment, but trying to, um, one, reduce your word count down. Also, I think once you get into the body of your um, essay, um, you can take taking out some of your personal, the phrasings around personal viewpoints um, is advised. So on the other hand, other activities can make it easier to get better skills and imagination than reading due to the many benefits that some outdoor activities offer. Let's look at this sentence, see if we can make that a little more concise. Usually on the other hand is used when we're going to look at a contrasting viewpoint, but I think here because we're still looking at the same viewpoint, maybe I would have used um, additionally or furthermore because um, you're adding on to the, your previous idea. So maybe something like furthermore, some outdoor activities um, make it easier to get better skills and imagination than reading. Full stop. So we've made it a little more concise. We've taken out the double use of activities there. Um, hopefully freed up a bit of word count there. Take, for example, soccer or baseball. Sports competition provides experiences in which cognitive and physical abilities are required and tested. Many students whose academic performance is, is rather terrible find in these sports a unique alternative. Consequently, it is absolutely justified to consider out, outdoor, no S there, outdoor activities as an excellent replacement Instead of replace, replacement in the ENT for reading. To conclude, although reading is a good resource of information and knowledge, this does not mean that it is the only method available to get certain abilities. I estimate that in the future we will be more reliant on other options than reading alone. Good. Overall, very good essay. Well, again, just really need to work on being a little more concise, reducing your word countdown. Let's look at your other essay. Good. Well, I read through this essay. I thought this was a really good essay. Um, you've done a much better job on the word count here, 257. You've still done, uh, you've still managed to um, answer the task response and look both sides of the question, which was really great to see. Um, some good ideas, good examples to back up those ideas. Um, yeah, good essay. Let's go ahead and read through it and I'll give you some specific feedback on the a lexical resource and then also the grammar. I don't think there was too much in this one but let's have a look. Some people often believe that nowadays, here we could take out, you know, we don't really need this word often, we could just say some people believe that nowadays the level of communication between the members of a family is extremely poor. I personally disagree with this view. This essay will consider um, I would say consider the topic, instead of that topic, consider the topic using examples of successful communication strategies, comma, such as Colombian traditions, FaceTime and Skype, comma, to demonstrate points and support arguments. Good, good introduction. Firstly, although it is true that these days it is challenging to stay in permanent contact with the member, with with no other, with members of um, a family due to more stressful lifestyles and demanding routines or schedules at work, 
we cannot deny that families do their best. Okay, that was quite a complex sentence. Uh, I wouldn't normally recommend such a complex sentence, but I think you've managed it very well. So good job there. Modern people try to keep a sane, add your article there, a sane balance between family and work and encourage a sense of belonging and community inside their own homes. In Colombian case, yeah, um, this is a little awkward. I wonder, I um, just need to fix that. Um, maybe in the case of Colombians, for example, uh, particularly, particularly those living in the capital, families make efforts to spend lunchtime with their beloved ones every single day of the week. Therefore, children learn from this example, comma, replicating it once they have grown and constituted their own families. Good, good vocabulary there, Will. On the other hand, even though... I want to move your your um, adverb there. On the other hand, even though more young adults currently spend time studying, even though young, even though more young adults currently spend time studying abroad, they keep in touch with their relatives through virtual chats and other resources, comma, namely FaceTime and Skype. A recent study conducted by Oxford University showed that 80% of international students dedicate at least three hours. Yeah, watch this. Whenever you're doing writing numbers or using numbers in your IELTS exam, try to write them out as words, particularly if they're numbers under 10. So here I would suggest this is T-H-R-E-E. -E. Dedicate at least three hours per day chatting with their families or taking advantage of social networking and online communications with their parents. To conclude, there is no reason to support the statement that suggests a decrease in terms of communication in modern families. I estimate that in the future, I estimate that in the future, the situation uh, will not change significantly. Good. Really good essay here, Will. Just a few grammatical things. So what I would like you to do, Will, is to create a list of uh, your mistakes. We call this your error list. Um, so add any mistakes to your error list. I want you to go ahead and correct these two essays with the suggestions given. Watch the next set of podcasts and then write the next two set of essays and then get those back to me as soon as you can. All right, well, fantastic work. Keep it up and I look forward to seeing your next essay soon. Bye for now.